Okay, we're in a two-game road trip, and we are starting in Memphis. So, uh, should be easy. Not, not gonna lie. Nothing special. They're probably around bottom in the West, I can't remember, but... We are here. In Memphis. Well, Davis walks like that, what the hell? The downtown skyline illuminating the night here at our broadcast location. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, this is kind of like an ass record for in the Western Conference. But look at the record though, 56 and 2. NBA action is coming up. This is Kevin Quick follow up, I did play two games before this, and I and the recording got fucked up, so we're just going to skip into this one. It's a shame because I got a good game against the Warriors. It sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Challenge for owners, most of whom don't come from basketball. It sure can. All right, DA, thanks. Well, the Grizzlies coaching search took two months. They finally settled on Taylor Jenkins, a former assistant coach with the Milwaukee Bucks. Jenkins, with an economics degree from Penn, fits the young academic profile of this Memphis front office. Worked for the Spurs six years as an assistant under Mike Budenholzer, who was the coach of the year in 2019. That pedigree helped him get the job. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. Ajan Rondo is out there with Jay. And it's James in at the three. And for Memphis, Jackson and Valanciunas. Uh, this is our first They're time playing here in Memphis? I can't remember. We already played him twice. And, and I think it's both in L.A. The three. Now oh, Dion Waiters is in this team. Pass to Davis. Lakers passing it around. Five to shoot. Rondo with it. He's picked up by Morant. Rondo can't That's a pretty, pretty ass possession. Here's yeah, your trades that that we are seeing is not really like in real life. It's like simulated, so teams do have an option to trade somebody. And it's a defensive three-second violation. Oh man, are you serious? That was my call. I wasn't even like three seconds there, is it? Scouting reports very detailed, Clark. Talk about the types of insights those scouting reports would reveal about your team and your opposition. Typically, player tendencies and team tendencies. How do they win? What areas are they really strong in? A team being excellent on the glass, or tremendous in transition offense, or very physical. I mean, just those types of nuggets. Might as well give it, man. And then individual players so that you could try to position them to not be at their best by what you did to counteract them. Good explanation. Here's Waiters following the basket by LeBron James. Rondo passes to James. Okay, nice. And he could not get that one to go. Get that shit out of here, man. It's and my shit. For two. They get Andre Iguodala. You know, even though it took him a minute to get into the league, every basketball fan out there knew Che's name. Man, I'm averaging 35 points a game for a rookie. And, you know, quite a bit of turnover for the Lakers in recent years, guys, from the front office to the coaching staff. I think it's always important for an organization to have a common voice to speak in stereo and have everybody in proper alignment from the top down to the court. Here's Rondo. Dion Waiters making his last shot. LeBron outside. That one doesn't drop. Nice team from Valanciunas. And as the Lakers have looked to fill positions, Clark, a real affinity for candidates with the Lakers' history. Yeah, you know, that's exactly right. They view it as a family, but here recently, they've expanded their options and have looked outside of past Laker pedigree in terms of filling some key spots, which is part of what you have to do if you're going to move forward and be successful. Now, Morant. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. And you know what? In that last game, he was also all over the place on defense, mucking up the passing lanes and getting all kinds of steals, too. Now, here's Morant. Off target with his three. Here's LeBron. That one falls. Yeah. His second best That's great. That's right there. He's two for three. <laughs> You know, a six foot eight with the ball skills that James has. Oh, three games. We've like already guard. played three games against this team. Get wherever he wants to off the dribble. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Waiters with the ball. Nice James defense, there. right? 
Oh, shit. And Valanciunas kicks to Moran. A putback. Jackson trying to break free. And staying with the play, Valanciunas. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done. Oh, man. Shades of the game well, 7 in 2016 finals, huh? Possession here. But not in that capacity. Because this, this team is ass. Nice pass on Rondo, bitch. And here we go. Fast break. Kuzma's got it. And finished off by Davis. Well, that's why they're in front. Uh, aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. The Grizzlies trail by five. Morant passes to Valanciunas. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Jackson. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And that one drops. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. The drive by chain. Basket counts. There is a bunch to appreciate about LeBron's game. His passing is off the charts. Just look at that feed. Now here's Morant. He's covered by Rondo. Here's Waiters. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. Waiters got six. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Boy, that's real concentration there, guys. It's one thing to finish through contact right at the rim, but for Che to do so outside of the paint, impressive. Now here's Morant. And you know the points will always be there for him. He's averaging just a shade under 20 points a game right now. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Oh, he post trapped that boy. I'm the better rookie, bitch. Give me a replay on that one, baby. And you know, that right there is a case of Che knowing how to use his body to not only shield the defender. Man, Vogel's not impressed, huh? And one chance, too. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break, transition opportunity. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. Now here's Morant. He dishes it to Valanciunas. And the Grizzlies check on two more. Oh, strong work inside to fend off the D and, and finish. He'll battle you down low every time. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. Six-point lead. Nice. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. You know, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, you know, game balls all around in that one. A terrific team effort. They trusted in their system and executed well to get the win. Now here's Che. Turned in an outstanding game against Golden State. Four on the shot clock. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Yeah, they're scoring with confidence, Greg, making them count in the early going here. Passes it to Valanciunas. Well, why did he jump? What the fuck? And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And so it's the Lakers with it. Lakers leading by six. Bro, well, Valanciunas didn't even fucking look, man. How disrespectful. Well, I think that's what you want to see. I mean, Che not settling for a spot-up jumper, but driving the ball and scoring on the move. There's the pass to Waiters. Over Che. That shot misses. And it's the Lakers the other way. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. 
well. They, they coasted to the win in that one. Were dominant in the rebound department, and that was a huge factor. And, you know, one of the things about winning the physical battle like they did in that game, it gives you a lot of confidence going into the next meeting. You know you can push this team around in the paint and win the physical battle. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball after the basket by the Lakers. Making an impact with his defense. I know how important that is to Che in every game he plays. He wants to get it done at both ends. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Okay, we got team take over in this bitch, baby. Jackson comes in for Andre Iguodala. Pop it, baby. Los Angeles will go for a there you go. Here. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Davis. Howard Cousins. Automatic. Kyle Kuzma. Danny Green, he's checked in for LeBron. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Rajon Rondo. Here's Morant after Los Angeles picked up three with their last shot. And here's Crowder. 23 points his last outing. White Howard grabs the board. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Caldwell Pope passes to Cousins. Oh, no foul. Come on. No good. Steve from Valanciunas. The Grizzlies trail by 11. Well, the Suitors didn't jump out full throttle to sign Cousins in this past free agency. Still wary of his health. Ended up having to take another one-year contract, this time with the Lakers. Cousins, though, still hoping to show he's a franchise caliber player. No good on the wing three. Grizzlies have gone 7 of 15 from the field at this point. Waiters gets a wide open look. Offline with his three. Lakers leading by nine. Jay passes to Cousins. To the middle. Here's Howard. Good. And it's Jay picking up the assist. Jay's got three assists in the game. Raiders against Green. Caldwell Pope brings the double team. Waiters passes to Morant. And stolen by Cousins. And here we go. Fast break with Che. And Che throws it down. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. Pass to Valanciunas. Oh, man. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. Analytics, Clark, are such a major factor for coaching staffs and scouting staffs and plenty of microanalysis to go around. But some statistics can actually be a little bit misleading, don't you think? Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. And you can torture the numbers to say whatever you want them to say. So you have to be careful. I think there's a great place for analytics in the game. It's very useful in some areas, but you have to balance it. There has to be a blend there. Take, for instance, shot blocking. Just because you don't block a shot, that sometimes can uh, dismiss what changing shots do to a team's defense or for a team's defense. Um, the number of threes being taken. Effective field goal percentage is more important than raw field goal percentage because of threes. And the first one at the line is good. Kentavious Caldwell Pope, his defensive quickness sets him apart. Oh, the shit. Grizzlies with some changes. Rabs checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Clark in for Morant. Here's Waiters. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Waiters got eight. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. And the Lakers Casey, give me advice. Shut the fuck up, bitch. There's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major. Or it could be just a slight tweak. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Shea passes to Howard. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And the basket is good. And the Lakers lead by 12. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference. Oh, nice defense. Fuck. Offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Shea Pop it, Green. green. Second chance shot. The oh, come on. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. 
Shots good by Waiters. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. The drive by Che. Good work defensively by Crowder. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Cousins, the pass to Che. The second chance effort. Oh, that's unnecessary. <laughs> He's got 17. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Waiters surveying the D. Pass to Jackson. Watch the screen. Over Che. Jackson misses. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses. Boy, nice move, KCP. The and the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Che with the block. And here comes the break. He's looking for Cousins and finds him. Second shot opportunity. And Che with the layup. Che's got 19 points. Man, I played the whole first quarter because of the takeover. They didn't sat me down. Second chance buckets. Yeah, and you know what, Greg? You like their effort level here in the early going. I mean, oh my gosh, another block for me, dog. I'm too good. Aldwell Boat issues to Che. Down low. And then Cousins with the dunk. Displaying intensity right off What's the up? opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. So Memphis going with almost an entire... Okay, we're halfway through the second quarter. Or else I'm going to be playing like almost every quarter. Like a big chunk of the minutes. Josh Jackson's checked in for Clark. And it's Igudala in for Jay Crowder. Back to Waiters. Pulls up on the elbow. That one off the back iron and out. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. So the Lakers five right now. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. Rajon Rondo is out there with Jay. And it's LeBron and at the three, the small four. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Che in the last game against the Warriors was outstanding. He scored 54 points, and that was just the start of it. He wound up with a triple-double in what was quite a display for him. The numbers in that game make me anxious to see what he can do tonight. Kevin? Yeah, David in stretches. He was absolutely done. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. For sure, and draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Rajon Rondo. Shea is merciless tonight, not letting up a bit. Iguodala outside. To the paint, here's Valanciunas. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Kuzma, and Kuzma slams it in. Shea making it look so easy, dropping that nice room service dime there. Iguodala outside with the floater, and that's two points on the layup. Iguodala's got five You're points. You're not the point guard, KCP. Give me the ball. How about that wonderful floater he has, showing off an exquisite touch. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. <laughs> he's pissed. And that sends Che to the free throw line. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. The Lakers have been coming through at the charity strike. Man, he looks Made pissed. Seven of their eight attempts. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group. Only around 75%. You know, I know that's an aspect they've been trying to address as a team. I mean, they've got to get those free throw numbers up and improve. Waiters outside. The ball's not loose. Oh my staggering defense. Outside Jackson. Five on the clock. A three-pointer, no good. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something 
to reduce this deficit. Uh, we'll see if that's the answer. The wide open look here for Kuzma. Offensive rebound. Here's Davis. <laughs> How many rebounds, dog? <laughs> Here's Howard. Oh. <laughs> and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. You know, I think he's just got to be a little smarter around Howard. That guy. Damn, we've got like five offensive rebounds off of that possession. On the way up. And Clark, when you were playing, I imagine the pre-draft process was a lot different than it is today. No doubt about it. I mean, I came out in 1982 after my junior year, Kevin, and at that time, if you were a guy who was declaring early, you basically just had to go on whatever knowledge and information you could get from whoever because there was no allowing you. You weren't allowed to go to a workout. Um, teams could interview you, but there were no on-court workouts, so it was totally different than today. At the elbow, it's Jackson. Kicks it to Waiters. Garden. He ain't making that. Misses off the left iron. Lakers leading by 17. Here's Kuzma, stolen by Waiters. Wasted possession. Reverses, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Caldwell Pope. The Grizzlies have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. That one is off. And you have to knock down your free throws, especially when you're trying to make up ground. And the second free throw, good. Los Angeles has got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. Here's Howard over Valanciunas. And the rejection by Valanciunas. And here we go with Waiters running it up the court. Jackson has the open look. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Back to Jay. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense there from Jackson. A nice shot by Jay. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Pass to Jackson. Back to Waiters. Oh, he's going to pop that? Oh, man. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And just not able to find the target from three point range. Oh, shit. Here in the second quarter. Although he did. I pump think that bitch. Give me that shit. On the wing, KCP, bro. He's got 26. Oh, look at my screen. Oh, look at it. Look at that. That's how you do it, bro. That's how I make you better, KCP. Number seven for him tonight. Little Very bitch. effective at spacing the floor. Contavious Caldwell Pope has gone from an average outside shooter to a dangerous one. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule. That's controllable, and it's actually a free throw. So you feel like you leave loose change out there when you don't convert. Valanciunas passes to Igudala. We've got 148 left in the first half of basketball. Four on the clock. Here's Valanciunas. <laughs> he ain't shooting that shit. Hold this shit, Valanciunas. Oh, fuck you. Another shot. Oh, fuck you again. Give me that. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Finally went in. Jay's got 28 points for the game. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the How many offensive rebounds we got already? That's Guys, crazy. That's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. <laughs> to the inside, Igudala, and the layup's good off the glass. Igudala's got seven points here in this quarter. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Man, KCP got a shit ton of minutes today, huh? 55 seconds left here in the second. Shea passes to Howard. Over Valanciunas. And another basket for the Lakers. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. That's game one of a three-game road trip. Kuzma passes to Shea. And Shea throws it down. 
Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. Yep, they're starting to stretch this lead out. Too much offense to keep pace with. Grizzlies have shot the ball pretty well from the line going 8 of 11. Free throw, good waiting. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Jay Crowder comes in for Jaron Jackson. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Andre Iguodala. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Waiters outside. Oh, block that shit. Oh, come on. By Howard. He knows exactly when to jump to deny shot attempts. Oh, my gosh. KCP, you a dumbass. The Grizzlies gain possession. Oh, my gosh. Sure what he was thinking about with that pass just sailed it right out of bounds. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers riding high with a 23-point lead heading into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Well, you look at Shea in this game. He has been everywhere. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Well, you know, that I got so many offensive rebounds right now, though. To the strike, time, and another one here. Again. Well, defensive rebounds Here's in a sense. And Jackson Jr. at the forward slots. Deion Waiters is out there with Morant. And it's Valanciunas in at the five. Home in the paint. And that's the group for Taylor Jenkins as we begin the second half. And LeBron is a force rolling to the rim when he's diving inside. He's looking for the punch. And LeBron James Clark climbing the all-time scoring list. Last season passing Michael Jordan. This season, Kobe Bryant. Clark, any chance LeBron someday passes another Laker great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the most career points in NBA history? I think it's simply a matter of his health because if he stays healthy, then it's not if but when. By the time his contract runs out, guys, in 2022, he'll be right in that neighborhood of my all-time favorite player, and I think the greatest player to play, um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, tampering is a touchy subject, but it's a word we're hearing more often. Teams want to retain their star players, but they know that there's always talk during the season. Now, teams can only express interest in a player when he hits free agency. But players can talk amongst each other freely all season. Star players like LeBron James are tied into their front offices. And some people wonder if there's much of a difference between what the player says and what this team is thinking. Kevin? Good point, David. Thank you. And have to commend the unselfish attitude. Like how oh, okay. recognize the open man in the ball is right there. And Valentinus is a beast on defense, bro. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hold that. Here's Waiters. He's got 19. Outside Jackson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Kyle Kuzma picks one up. The Grizzlies have been a winning team for most of the last decade. Injuries snapped their playoff streak back in 18, but the silver lining, a top draft pick they used to select, Jaron Jackson. Shea passes to Kuzma. Outside Rondo. And the pass to Kuzma. Inside. Oh, I'll leave you behind, bro. And there you Shea go. With the basket on the assist by Kuzma. Kuzma's got six assists now in the game. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. 
And in his rookie season, Jaron Jackson, the youngest player in the league, he seemed NBA ready. And already he impacts the game on both ends of the floor. A, a ton of upside with this young man. He's already helping the Grizz win games. And another miss by Memphis. For Los Angeles, they've gone 5 of 6 so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. Outside Rondo. Now here's Che. He's tightly guarded. There you go. One more rebound for a triple dub. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Kuzma against Valanciunas. And stolen by Kuzma. And the dunk by Che. Boy, you can see Che's eyes getting wide knowing the throwdown is there for him. And oh, how this fella loves to bang it home. Pass to Valanciunas. Yeah, I haven't played with McGee, huh, Takes in this game. Rams. Shoots from the line. Goes back up. Look at that. No good from Valanciunas. Team well, takeover Angeles, again. Let's go. Everything to drop this court. They're seven of eight from the floor since halftime. Here's Davis. A Damn. What a bully lead. Davis is, huh? Davis has got ten points in the game. Yeah, the Two team takeovers in a row, guys. Really impressed with their offensive execution. I'm not getting subbed out again, that's for sure. Been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Oh, I didn't realize I have a triple double already. And they get it. He wow, over Davis, huh? Back iron and down it falls. He's got nine. Yeah, that's just good offense beating good defense, something Morant's grown accustomed to. Davis against Jackson. Oh, I, I, I can control LeBron, dog. Davis down low. Pass to Kuzma. And that one falls, coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got four assists now tonight. Just impressed with the team. Oh, let's go. Setting the table for oh, you ain't bullying LeBron, bitch. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He, he just rocked that ring, baby. Ordinary there for LeBron. I mean, insane athleticism. And so it's Igudala. He'll bring it up for Memphis. Oh my. And another make to his scoring column. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting five of eleven. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. One thing about Kyle Kuzma Clark, he's not a ball stopper. When he touches the ball, he is shooting it. <laughs> I would not disagree with you there, guys. He is fearless looking for a shot. He hunts his shot aggressively, and he's very efficient. He doesn't need a lot of dribbles, but one thing I like about him is that he doesn't hold on to that ball long. He's going to make a quick, decisive move or get it out of his hands. Here's Morant. Oh, no rebounder there, though. again. In deep, Crowder drops it in. Crowder's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. Kuzma, that's good. Boy, that's exactly the kind of strength Kuzma has to show, guys. I mean, take that contact, expect it, and still be able to convert. You've got to do that at this level. Morant passes to Rab, and he gets the bucket. Rab's got five. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Man, they're going to double-team me, Doug. You know, all McGee needs, guys, is good positioning. Once he has that, dunking the ball is elementary. Morant passes to Rab. Dishes it to Waiters. It's Morant in the corner. And again, it's Memphis with the three. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Passes it to Kuzma. Hangs in the air. The second chance. There you go. In deep, McGee drops it in. Boy, for a seven-footer, he's got really good bounce, does JaVale McGee, and doing a nice job working. Oh, on man, the he just spin on Bradley, bro. 
Now the pass to Morant. Rab kicks to Morant. McGee with the block. Get that shit out of here, bitch. And here we go. Fast break. Kuzma's got it. And Kuzma slams it in. Boy, fun watching Kuzma find a way to get out in the open court. The young legs on display there. Morant with it. 14 points for him. Oh, shit. Here's Rab. Out left of the wing. And it's Morant missing. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump Oh, him man. Up. He just he fucking blocked that shit. Pride in what he does on defense. Some changes for Memphis. Clark comes in for Kyle Anderson. And it's Jackson in for Deion Waiters. DeMarcus <laughs> he just slipped past Rudy. The Green comes in for Avery Bradley. Oh, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him. Outside Jackson. The Lakers with the rebound. Jay outside. Here's Cousins. Wow, he just didn't pass him. He just fucking chuck it. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Morant passes to Jackson over Murray. The offensive rebound, Crowder, and the rejection by Cousins. The Lakers working the ball around now. Che dishes to Cousins. It's rebounded by Memphis. Crowder's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Poke loose, Cousins with it. He's picked up by Morant. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. On the inside now, Che will battle you. He'll fight. He doesn't let contact rattle him. Clark, if you were a coach on a team, what would you want to see from a guy by the end of his rookie season in the NBA? You know, Kevin, I won't be specific because I think it's more general in my estimation. Owning his development, whatever that means, embracing how he's going to get better if it's a particular area of the game yes but understanding the professionalism of work ethic oh, shit. and developing good habits and really owning that that's what i would want to see jackson looking around here's crowder mcgee with the block boy and the wingspan mcgee has covers a lot of ground very useful for shot blocking. Howard's checked in for Los Angeles. Shot clock at six. Here's Morant. And again, Memphis, no good. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to. Where's my boy Caruso? I've been keeping playing with KCP, bro. You'll have periods like this. To the paint. Oh, Here's let's go, Howard. And one, baby. Shot and picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they had. And stolen by Jay. Here's Caldwell Pope. Good. And it's Jay picking up the assist. That's now eight points for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Lakers. The activity level defensively, I I've really been Oh, man. They've been in attack mode on the defensive. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. And all of his athleticism on display there. Clark's work ethic makes him lethal on that offensive backboard. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Outside Jackson. Pass to Clark. Outside Crowder. Down to five on the shot clock. And good that time. Crowder's got six. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Shea passes to Howard. Lets it fly. Oh, my Nine gosh. Shot. No good. 
And so it's Crowder with it. They'll bring it up for Memphis. Jackson from long range. He's been an absolute non-factor. Zero factor this game. Just a horrible performance from him. Good work defensively by Crowder. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him. Kyle All right, we're halfway through. For Clark. On the wing, Jackson, guarded by McGee. Jackson against McGee. Back to Anderson. To the inside, Jackson. McGee with the block. Oh, this my boy Alex Caruso, though. On the break. With the Pop it. Oh, come on, Caruso. Shea is out there with Murray. And there's JaVale McGee. Then there's Avery Bradley. And it's Caruso in at the point. Now here's Morant outside for Jackson. Shoots over Bradley. The Grizzlies with another miss. It's just been a brutal outing for him. He still hasn't managed to make a shot, and the team is struggling because of it. McGee, the pass to Shea. It's good. Shea's got 48. And he's certainly been their go to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum give credit where credit is due right there a terrific assist down low Crowder my goodness Javel. and it's Memphis on the break Morant with it out guarded by Murray and it's Morant missing Lakers have gone four of ten here in the final period not the time to go forward Another bucket! Wow! My goodness! Fifty. Man, how many fifty points does he have already, man? Not a show. Well, Clark, at the college level, a coach was recently offered a lifetime contract. Think we'll ever see that in the NBA? <laughs> well, you can't quite say never. Right. I said in college basketball, I never thought in my lifetime I'd see a sixteen beat a one C. Right. So never say never, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> well, but you've got a lifetime contract doing this, so I guess it does happen in some quadrants. Well, you got information that I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they can keep it up. And he makes the first. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half, and that's taking care of business, fellas. And there's the Shit. <laughs> second call. And a big summer for the Lakers, trading for Anthony Davis for a time. Greg, it even looked like they had a great shot at landing Kawhi Leonard. He ends up choosing the Clippers, which gives rise to a compelling rivalry the nexus of nba basketball has shifted to the city of angels whichever team you root for la fans with a lot to celebrate rabs checked in for memphis lakers have gone five of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter and it's jay missing memphis has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth here's anderson and there it is for him anderson's got four points this quarter I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate. And that's what it looked like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. And oh, here we go. Brooks got it. The fast break chance. And it's good. Two points. You got to love his hustle. Leaving the defense. No time to react. And you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Goes up the baseline. And Jay with the basket on the assist by Bradley. Shea's got 55. You know, with his in-between game working, Shea can cause all kinds of problems. I mean, the mid-range jumper, a real important shot for him. I really do it, though. Pass to Rab. Brooks outside. Off target from outside. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. He gets it in there. Well, you can see Che's ability to read a defense right here. I mean, sees the right pass and doesn't hesitate. Oh, shit. That is a steal. And the foul called on Che. 
That's foul number two for him. Anderson outside. Passes it to Brooks. And it's blocked by McGee. It's stolen by Jones. To the middle. Here's Anderson. And that comes off the assist by Jones. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweep one after another. To the inside. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Chase got 57 points. Well, I tell you what, Che plays with a chip. He's got a little edge to his game. I like that about it. Brooks outside. Shot from free throw range. And the Grizzlies check on two more. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. 153 left to play here in the fourth. McGee dishes to Che. It's rebounded by Memphis. Allen right side from the arc. Caruso grabs the miss. L.A. has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Stolen by Allen. Why is he touching his ribs though? On the wing, Brooks guarded by McGee. Brooks against McGee. Brooks kicks to Allen. Just five on the clock. 13 feet away. <laughs> okay. And the shot goes down. Allen's got five points now in the quarter. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it oh my gosh. That was ridiculous. A monster win here for the Lakers. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. Man, 60-point game. game. On the season, they'll now have won 57 games this year. And their dominance continues, guys, as they sweep the season series four games to none. That's impressive on one side, but embarrassing on the other side, Greg. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Jay. There isn't much else you want from someone. He gave it his all and was rewarded with a triple-double. The Lakers controlling the game. The feed to Howard. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And there's the pass to Clark. And stolen by Che. Pass to McGee. Good, he hits again. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable performance from him so far. Stolen by McGee. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was They got destroyed, bro. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that about wraps it up for David Aldridge. Great win. Good ass win. What's up, fellas? What's up, y'all, man? What's up, boys? 62 man. points. What's up, big dog? Appreciate you, man. What's up, man? Yeah, we played good tonight, man. You know? Yeah, we gotta keep it going. Yeah, man. What's up, bro? Oh, Dwight Howard. You, Is that Dwight? <laughs> yeah, do what I can. That's a pretty interesting uh, couple of conversation.
All right, that should do it. And I'm playing the Pelicans once again next. So it's gonna be New Orleans this time. So I'm just gonna make sure that I'm gonna keep Zion as my bitch. So tune into that one, guys. Thanks.